Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a lot to talk about as Jim Ryan and the team over at PlayStation have revealed some new information to us that have really given some light to the plans that Sony has going forward. We also have an alleged uh, leak as well about uh, Ghost of Tsushima coming from Jeff Grubb, the same uh, man who also leaked the PlayStation showcase coming this week or being announced this week. So a lot to talk about there. Before we jump into all of that, if you could do me a huge favor, show your support by hitting the like button, share the video if you find it informative, and subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about these comments made by Jim Ryan during an interview with Famitsu. So Ryan told Famitsu that feedback from the PlayStation community has been positive when it comes to staggered PC launches. He assured fans that Sony understands the importance of PS5 exclusive games and ensuring fans enjoy first party games first on their console remains PlayStation Studios' main priority. That said, Sony also wants to increase its share of the PC market and wants to proactively bring content to the platform, but again, at a staggered release. So from what Jim Ryan is saying, it sounds like they are not going to be doing day and date releases ever for any game as far as they're concerned for the future. So the thought that a lot of us had, which was, you know, uh, games as a service games, be in day and date with PC just to help with the community and, and the population. That's not really a concern and that's not a thought that they're having. Their main priority going forward and, and from the beginning has been PlayStation exclusives coming to PlayStation first. After a few years, then they are going to come to the PC market and that's what they want to do. They want to make PlayStation players feel like their platform, that box that they buy has value and that value is not only in its uh, cost to performance ratio, but also in that they are going to have games on that platform first before it ever goes to PC, which is a great strategy and something that I really do vibe with. I really do like that. I think that is a much more appealing strategy than what the competition is doing, which in Xbox's case is day and day PC releases, which really takes the value away from an Xbox outside of cost to performance. Uh, which is is enticing for a lot of people. I will I will say that some people that is more than enough for them to go buy that Xbox. But as we have found with the sales, that their sales have come down a lot. And I truly believe if their exclusives were still Xbox first and then onto the PC later on, they would be doing a lot better. And I think that people would buy their console more so. And so it looks like PlayStation is not going to be changing their playbook. They're going to be running the same playbook that has been successful for them for a long time with the new addition of dropping PC games after a few years. And I think that that's a very good strategy. I actually like that strategy a lot because it makes me feel like my PlayStation has value. It makes me feel like, sure, I got this PC that can outperform my console like three, four, five times over, but I'm able to play these games solely on the PS5. And in some cases, maybe not for years until later it comes to PC. So. I feel the strategy is, is optimal. I feel like it really is getting the job done. I feel like a lot of PlayStation fans still feel valuable and still feel like uh, first class gamers on their platform because they are getting these exclusives for years before it comes to PC. And not just that, they are still going first priority, PS5 or whatever PlayStation console there will be. And then afterwards, the priority shifts a little bit to the PC but only after PS5 players and PlayStation console owners have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that exclusive. I think that's key. I think that is what's really working for them. Now, Jim Ryan also goes on to say in the interview that the Japanese games market continues to be one of the most uh, important markets for them. And they revealed that the Ghost of Tsushima had sold over 1 million copies in the region, which is considered very, very good. Like that's an excellent, excellent amount of copies to sell in Japan, especially for a market that is primarily like a handheld mobile market, um, like Nintendo Switch market. So that's highly impressive. And obviously they, you know, they continue to say that, hey, Japan's important to us, birthplace of, of Sony. Uh, it, you know, it, it's super important. It, they're not gonna just walk away from Japan. And I think that's important. I do think that that is very, very important. And it's also nice to hear that, you know, games like Ghost of Tsushima, which really, uh, you know, take the Japanese culture and the history and they inject it into their games and embrace that culture. It's, it's incredible. It's amazing and clearly was appreciated uh, by the Japanese market as well. So 
really important. And I'm glad to hear that that's the case. I feel like they're saying a lot of right things, man. And with that showcase coming up, they're going to make a lot of noise when it comes to this PlayStation showcase that is coming very, very soon. Now, I also want to talk about something that was said by the Sony Group chairman and CEO, Kenoshiro Yoshida. And he said that the company will expand its portfolio of PS5 exclusives to boost active users. In a corporate strategy presentation delivered yesterday, Yoshida emphasized the importance of increasing PS5's installed base and active users. He says, I consider the drivers for this to be the growth and expansion of PS5 and the strengthening and expansion of our first party game portfolio. So, you know, as expected, they're going to go all out, making sure they're making as many PlayStation 5 exclusives as possible, making good ones, great ones, excellent ones, you know, raising the value of the PS5 in the sense, you know, with these great games and making, you know, PlayStation as big as it's ever been. So exclusives, lifeblood of the console and really driving what matters a lot to PlayStation, right? Like and what matters a lot to gamers. So it's really interesting to see where we're going to go when we get to this showcase and what could be happening there. Now, lastly, I want to talk about what Jeff Grubb said in uh, in his game mess decides. And he said that uh, he has it on good note that uh, basically Ghost of Tsushima 2 likely not going to be at uh, the, the showcase. And, you know, it, it surprises me because it has been a while since Ghost of Tsushima. And I feel like uh, it would be nice to see an update on whatever they're working on next. Uh, but... It also wouldn't surprise me too much if they're waiting on that still. So it seems that if he's correct, which I honestly at this point, I know a lot of people may not agree with me because I, I do see a lot of people kind of pushing back. Not everybody, some people I should say, pushing back on Jeff Grubb. But uh, I think that he's right about this. I think that he knows what he's talking about. I think that he's got sources that have purely just proven themselves at this point between the state of play and then the showcase back to back. We're talking he was right back to back about these. Uh, I think that he knows what he's talking about and he knows people and he has connections so i think that he's correct about this and i'm a little disappointed to be honest i was hoping to see ghost of tsushima too but you know what when it's time i'm ready whenever they're ready to show it i'm ready you know what i mean like as much as i'd love to see it it is what it is we can't really force greatness or rush greatness i should say and in this case we're just gonna have to wait patiently for this regardless if ghost of tsushima 2 is not there that's that's not a deal breaker they got so many other games that they could show. So many third-party exclusives that they have in the in the holster, man. Like, PlayStation is not playing around. This this showcase, guys. I and I know I've seen people say, "Hey, man, it's being exaggerated. This is being too too hyped up. You know, people are gonna get their expectations up in a bunch." No, man. We need to keep our expectations as high as possible. It's been over a year. We need greatness from Sony. This showcase needs to be a ten out of ten. Can't have any misses, right? I'm not saying the whole showcase has to be exclusives and massive AAA games, no, but like it's got to be a really good showcase. And I think that that's fair for anybody to expect across the board. But a shame we're not going to get Ghost of Tsushima 2 there, or likely won't. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it for today's video. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this. Let me know what you think about what Jim Ryan had to say about PlayStation games not going to PC day and date. Or do you like that? How do you feel about that? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Obviously, PS5 exclusives being a very important thing and lastly goes to Tsushima 2 possibly not making an appearance at the PlayStation Showcase. As always if you guys enjoyed the video please consider hitting the like button if you didn't like the video hit the dislike button share the video if you found it informative and subscribe if you're new you can also follow me on Twitter link will be in the description. I thank you all for watching I will talk to you all on the next one take care.